Hey guys, what is up? Blowfish here from Blowfish Cinema. Uh, this is the second tutorial in the series. Make sure to spread the word. But uh, today we're going to be going over how to make a relatively high-level, quick, to-the-point intro that catches your viewers' attention. Um, the reason that for this tutorial is I'm really tired of seeing all the uh, all the kids out there with intros that are 30 seconds long saying. XX Naruto Slayer XX the best tutorials best videos greatest news with all this shit going on for 30 seconds long and to be honest I don't care and neither do the viewers so we're going to create a glitchy kind of noisy intro that really catches the attention of the viewer and allows you to get on to your video without a lengthy introduction so let's start off here uh, I'm going to show you guys what we're doing so take a look Yeah, I know it's short, but you have to admit that gets your blood pumping and it's a lot better than a 30 second intro with nothing going on. So we're going to go ahead and make a new project here. Uh, and just, f just for the record, um, this kind of intro is a really high level intro that would normally be done in something like After Effects, but I'm going to show you guys how to do this with no plugins, just raw Sony Vegas Pro 9. I'm doing a 1920 by 1080 resolution at 29.97 frame rate. Um, this is the North American standard, uh, so if you live in North America, use this. And then you can do 720p if you want. Uh, I like to go 1080 though, just for that higher quality. So start with the blank slate here. What you're going to need is I did a two-step introduction where I have my logo and then I have the name of my channel, and it's done. You could do this. You could. It, lengthen this, have it go even four if you wanted. Um, for the purpose of this, we're just going to do two again. So I'm going to bring in my logo and my text here. I'm just doing that with import. And uh, so yeah, we're going to start off with my logo and then we're going to blur it into the text. So let's drag the logo down here. Keep in mind that uh, this is a relatively high level tutorial. So if you don't know the basics of keyframing and all that good stuff, there's a lot of good tutorials out there to help you guys out, so make sure to take a look at those if you aren't to the level of this tutorial yet. Um, a few things I want to go over first uh, in an introduction and videos in general are balance. You want to color, you want to cover your whole color spectrum. That means red, greens, and blues, and then you want to cover the whole size spectrum. You don't want everything going on in this little area or on a huge scale. You want to vary in between the two to really keep the viewer interested. So we're going to get both those things done and make a really kick-ass introduction here. So first off, the motion is critical, where this thing is moving around, making it look really random and glitchy. So we're just going to go into some uh, keyframes here. And we don't want it to take too long. We want about maybe a third of a second of it twitching around. So we're, we're going to start off pan crop really close in, maybe over to the side. I like to go in two keyframe increments of movement. Maybe rotate it, bring it over here. Go two more, size it up, bring it up here. And then what you can do is go ahead and go over to where you want it to even out eventually. Right click, hit restore. This is going to make it full resolution. And in this space where it's really mellow, you can go like every two or three, rotate it, zoom it in, mess around with it. And this really creates a kind of random glitchy look that we're going for. All right, and then right here, we're going to rotate this, and then it evens out. So we're going to go ahead and preview this here. Uh, let's actually go, uh, all right. One more time. All right, so everyone's is going to be a little bit different. Um, Personally, I want to make a few changes to this just because I don't like how often it rotates. So we're going to make a few more changes here. Uh, Alright. So just, you want to scrub through, really mess around with the uh, 
the size a lot because you want it to look really random uh, just like someone took it and shit all over your clip um, you don't really want to keep it the same size at any point just because then it's kind of moving around it doesn't look so hot alright so this is a little bit better this is kind of what we're going for here uh, a little bit more random and uh, that's how I like it you know random is good random is good so we're just gonna preview this you can do that by hitting shift B alright so this is good it's really random um, I mean all I can say is mess around with this as much as you want and make it look as good as you want um, next on the list is depth we want to make it look when it's closer it's gonna be blurry when it's further away it's gonna be better so all we do is put in a Gaussian blur, soften, you don't want it too blurry and then just use your arrow keys go over to where it's at the end of the motion right about here bring the blur down so that's going to create a keyframe and over this amount of time it's going to get slowly less blurry so as you can see it gets unblurry here another thing we want to take into consideration you always want movement on the screen if you get to the point or if you ever watch an intro where something's just static it doesn't look good at all so we're gonna go to the very end here kinda size that up so that creates a nice movement uh, when you finish up and you don't want it to be too much but you'd want it to be just enough to where it's moving noticeably like that that's good it's just barely moving at the end there alright so next up we need to split the channels and what I mean by that is as you saw in the uh, original or the intro I showed you uh, it goes red green and blue and it creates a nice effect so to do that we're gonna go ahead and duplicate our tracks just right click duplicate and to make one red one blue and red green we can do that really easily with color balance so go up to color balance just drag in a reset to none all you have to do is drag the red up all the way and these ones down all the way uh, so that's gonna make this completely red mid-tones is normally where we're gonna stay at that's the grays and what the primary composition of an image is gonna be so then we go down we drag one into the second track drag the greens up all the way and these ones down and then one more time on the third track drag the blues up Oops. drag the blues up and these ones all the way down so as you can see um, we're not getting anything and that is because I failed at Photoshop and did not put a transparent background in but that's not a problem all you have to do is go to screen and that's going to turn all your blacks into transparency so do that on these two overlaying ones and now we have all of our layers the problem is they're on top of each other we need to feather them off um, kind of layer them on top of each other so since we what I would normally do is go into pan crop and mess with the keyframes but since we already have like 10 keyframes that would be kind of a bitch so we're going to go into track motion keep in mind that track motion does affect everything on the track so if you make a change here it's going to affect every single clip on this track so you have to change it back at some point anyways on this top layer I'm going to freeze my X movement so it can only move on this axis side to side and we're going to offset it just a little bit keep in mind that this is only messing with the stuff in here so for instance if you size it way down it's going to get cut off and that looks shitty so you do not want to do that uh, you want to just move it to where it gets offset and it looks nice and pretty so in this case if we're moving it to the left it's going to get cut off so what we can do is just go ahead and size it up just a little bit and uh, to be honest this glitchy stuff I'm doing here it's all just trial and error and doing it a lot so we're going to go ahead and scrub through here up to the point where it evens out right about here so what we're gonna do is create the effect of all these uh, levels here green red and blue merging together over time so right here it's uh, it's far off to the left and when they meet up we want it to be merged together so we're just gonna move to this point right click hit restore and that moves it to the middle so now all we have to do is go to this one go to the same spot wherever that is uh, let's see where are, oh, there you are go to this spot and hit restore 
So over time, they're going to slowly merge together. So that looks pretty good. Now, this is not the original color we wanted. So what we're going to do, when they all merge together, we're just going to split the clips. I'm doing this by hitting S. I don't know what the default is. If that is it, then you're good to go. We're going to split all three of these, delete them. And on this final one, we want to return it to the original color. So all you have to do is hit right click, delete the color balance, and you're good to go. So now it comes in and it's restored. Now if you want to create even more of a glitchy look, all you have to do is just drag this one out one. So it gets green for just one second. N nice uh, glitchy kind of look there. And this is definitely looking better than before because before it kind of looked bad and that's not good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and preview this. Uh, excuse my lag. Definitely not on the best computer for this. So this is looking pretty good. Nice glitchy look. Um, what I do want to do is make a better merge between when they all come together and when we have the final image. So to do that, we're just going to pop out the image a little bit. And we're going to go down to Spherize, drag in uh, Reset to None here. We're going to make it, we're going to scroll in here, we're going to go one keyframe over. We're going to drag the amount up. So what this is doing is it's making it, it's like a bubble, it's popping it out. We're going to bring it up to like a 0.4. And we're going to go over 2, bring it down to a negative number, not too much though, like negative 0.2 maybe. And then over time, maybe 3 or 4, we're going to make it 0. What this is doing is it's going to pop it out, bring it in, and then slowly bring it back to the middle like a ripple effect if you threw a stone into a river or something, theoretically. So I'm going to go ahead and preview this for you guys. Um, it's looking pretty good. Nice ripple effect there. Uh, let's go ahead and try to speed this up. So after, uh, let's see, how long do we want it? I'd say right about two seconds. What we're going to do is just cut this off. Now we need to bring in my text. And what we're going to do, well, first off, this looks kind of static. So we're going to bring in a TV simulator bring up the interlacing just a tad to create a nice grid look and then uh, bring up the scan phasing for some animation and that should do it um, what we can also do is copy this go to the end go three keyframes paste it in there and then on these next three at the end go ahead and bring down the line sync a lot this is gonna make it look static like that at the end there that's good now all we have to do is bring in a reset to none on this guy set the line sync to like 0.7 bring up the interlacing a little bit and then over three also bring up the uh, scan phasing for a little bit of animation here then over the next three keyframes we bring the line sync up so this is going to create a nice transition between the two here also what I'd like to do is do another RG, uh, red green blue split uh, for another glitchy effect. So all we have to do, same thing as before, copy paste, copy paste. And then also what you could have done is gone back here and in this color balance saved each of these as a preset. So all you have to do is drag it in. I did not do that so I'll do it all over again for you guys. Bring up the red, bring down these. bring up the green, bring down these, and then one more time, bring up this guy, or not that guy, bring up blue, take down the green. And then all I have to do, go back to here, all I did was click on track motion here, copy this keyframe, go to where we want it to get glitchy, uh, shit, where can I put this, alright, go right about